Navigating the teenage years is always tough. I look back at when I grew up, it was tough, but I think it's even tougher for kids these days. Kids just need all the support that they can get. Skills emerged out of a need within the local community where young people were disengaged from school life. And so in partnership with the local Noosa District High School, uh, the Salvation Army have been able to wrap around services both with students but also their families and that we can help and re-engage uh, with school life. There's a whole plethora of reasons why they might come to us. They might come to us in a stage where they're not in a good place. Sometimes it might be, um, you know, anxiety and working through some strategies of how someone can get through panic attacks and that sort of thing at school. I think every teenager is good at something and sometimes that gets lost in the mainstream system. We do a whole range of uh, different kind of life skilling, social uh, activities. We do workshops on understanding anger. A lot of these boys especially um, struggle with their anger. Bullying and harassment, you know, if you're getting bullied or if you are a bully, you know, um, why are you doing that? You know, people do things for a reason. We do how you talk to your teachers, uh, the body language you communicate to teachers. I see myself as a bit of a bigger brother. I just try kind of build rapport with them, um, drop in some little kind of uh, words of advice where I can, um, try to get around them, um, be as supportive as I can. Nick and I just try and be as consistent as we can. I think that's a big part of it. I mean, even the fact that they call us by our first names, that takes away some of the authority sort of mentality. And we get, we do stuff with them, like basketball, we eat with them, we sit down and we have conversations. We have a bit of a laugh, like Nick and I can be a bit silly sometimes too, but. I guess that's when the real stuff comes out through those conversations. It's when, it's when the stories come out, when they feel less threatened and you can get to the sort of core business of, of why we're doing what we're doing. I wasn't really like at school, kind of having a hard time and stuff because I'm dyslexic so English and math was hard and the pressure to pass that and just all my other subjects. Uh, it helped me to learn to control my anger and stuff, not go off at teachers and just try to get my work done. I liked it a lot, bit of a change up from the teachers at school, they actually listened. I was happier, happy that I was passing, mum was happier, all that. We learn about mental health, what a man can and can't do, what is a man. We learn about life saving, we learn about writing, reading. It's just a whole wide range of things about life. The teachers, they're good. They're my favourite teachers, and it's probably the best um, time in my school years that I've ever had. I believe it's critical that we make young people our priority right now. And uh, we have this perfect opportunity, this window, this opportunity now to see the, the trajectory of young people's lives shift from one of potential hopelessness and potential welfare cycle to one where they can thrive and have a successful life and a successful career. And so as a Salvation Army, we want to, we want to engage with young people where they're at now. We recognise in, uh, in Queensland, we're in a youth crisis and actually we need to pour more attention on, on, on young people and providing them opportunities to thrive, um, both now but also into the future. Every student, there's a, there's a reason behind the behaviour. It's not really the, we don't need to focus on the behaviour as much as the need and getting to the bottom of that can make wonderful things happen. It's hard in a classroom with 25 kids though. So that's why I do this job, that's why I love it. Sally and my goal has always been to keep keep growing the program, just keep getting better and better. I'd love it to just be a long successful partnership with, with Noosa District. Um, I want to be seeing these kids as their adults um, being successful. I want them to come up and say, Nick, I remember the time I spent, spent with you guys um, and it was a really positive kind of pivotal point in my life. That's what I hope, yeah.